What is going on everybody? My name is Zach. I hope you are doing well. Before we get into the video, if you are new here, please do consider pressing the like and subscribe button so you never miss news, tips, tricks, and ride-alongs with a little bit of humor. Uh, really quick, my apologies about yesterday's video. Uh, I had a crow in the background squawking. Uh, I am back in the same spot, so I'm hoping uh, Cheryl will not be so opinionated today. So let's, let's get into this video. Uh, about a month ago, I was on the Rideshare Rodeo podcast um, with Steve. And at the end of the interview, he kind of blindsided me with a question that I was not expecting. Uh, he asked me, if I were the CEO of DoorDash, what would I do to make them a profitable company within six months? And I didn't really have a good answer at the time. So uh, I'm working on a video and uh, I kind of touch on this. So I'm, I'm giving you guys just the tiniest little sliver of that video early. Um, essentially, I'm looking to crowdsource opinions on this question. So I'm kicking it to you guys. If you were the CEO of DoorDash, how would you make them a profitable company within six months? So some of you may be aware of this and others may not. Uh, DoorDash has never been profitable. Despite pulling in billions of dollars a year, they are still losing money. So uh, there, there's no bad answers. I want you to share your thoughts with me in the comment section below. Um, I'm going to go further into detail in this video I'm working on, so I'm not going to give my full opinion on this. Uh, and frankly, I don't want my opinion to influence your answer. So if you want to pause the video, let me know what you think would make DoorDash profitable, uh, and then uh, come back to the video. Um, I think that there, there's multiple problems with DoorDash, obviously, but I think that uh, their app issues uh, definitely probably cost the money in customers and uh, drivers, uh, um, drivers waiting around trying to fix an issue, food gets cold, DoorDash has to refund. I think that, sorry, uh, had a <laughs> squirrel moment. I think that uh, customer and driver fraud is a real problem. And I think that that costs DoorDash tens of millions of dollars a year. It has to. Uh, I, I don't have any, you know, solid numbers on that, unfortunately. But, you know, I, I don't think that they would want to make that information public. Uh, I think that their exceptionally well-trained driver support staff uh, is also probably costing them money. But these are just my opinions. So it's worth noting uh, out of the big three, DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub, only one of those has ever been profitable. And that one is, you know the answer? Grubhub. And Grubhub was profitable for a very short period of time. And now they're barely clinging onto life. Which brings me to my second question. Do you think in five years that the app-based food delivery space is going to exist in its current capacity? Or do you think that we will have moved on to something else? So you can, you can interpret that however you want, but I'm seeing article after article that says, you know, oh, sales are slowing and, um, you know, they're, they're experimenting with this or they're doing a hiring freeze. And then a week later, I see another article saying sales are booming, like the stock is through the roof again, and uh, it, you know it's a great time to be DoorDash. So, do you guys think, to, to summarize, do you think that the app-based food delivery space will still be a good source of income for drivers in five years? And the other question, if you were the CEO of DoorDash, and you had six months to make it profitable, what would you do? I cannot wait to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you haven't done so yet, please do consider pressing the like and subscribe button so you never miss news, tips, tricks, and ride-alongs with a little bit of humor. My name is Zach. I will catch you soon.